wild month we've had uh, since since the Biden Trump debate, this will settle into a little more of a normal presidential campaign. It is notable, even with all these events, the polls have not changed all that much. They sort of you know, ticked a little bit towards Trump and then they ticked a little bit back. And I, I think that really speaks to the calcified nature of American politics. You know, comparing the two picks, I think Walls, Harris picked someone with a lot more governing experience, a lot longer track record being vetted in the electoral process. Trump picking Vance, who's, you know, I guess seen as sort of a rising star, less of electoral track record, less life in, in the public sphere. And so I think one consequence of that is that you have had stuff come out about Vance since then that would have probably come out uh, if he had if he had run for governor of Ohio twice already. The nod to uh, median voter theory, basically the idea that most people are in the middle. And the walls will appear, you know, maybe not quite as, you know, you know policy-wise, but just as a personality, as a middle-of-the-road person. I think Vance is sharper edged, he's more sort of MAGA infused, and he's likely to say um, things that are you know, very popular with Trump's base, but that are otherwise not popular. And again, it will depend on how deft Walls turns out to be using that weird label to, to, to stick to extreme statements that Vance has made. So I think Walls might have an advantage in that, in that respect. And he's you know, Walls is 60 and Vance is 39. And, you know, those 21 years of wisdom could mean something. What it comes down to really is, does the person doing the picking think that the person being picked potentially make a good president? That's the most important thing and, and a good governing partner. And I think that probably on both sides, that outweighed all of these other considerations that we talk about a lot because we can see more publicly 